Hey Scorpio, what's happening? What's crackin' lagging? What's poppin', baby? It's your boy from Cantum and Sterile coming at you guys with your September 2019 look tarot reading, okay? I hope you guys are doing fantastic. If so, let me know down in the comments down below. Keep in mind this reading is general. If it resonates, that's dope. If not, it's not your message. Feel free to check out any other amazing tarot readers that we got here on YouTube, okay? These messages may resonate backwards or vice versa, so take it how it resonates if it applies to your particular situation. If you guys would like, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter, which is all linked down below. And you guys can also feel free to check out my sister and her boyfriend's YouTube channel, which is the first link in the description if you want to take a look into my family's life. Squirps, how we doing, man? I've been trying to get into your energy for the past couple of days, but I've been pushing your reading aside because it felt big. It felt big. It felt crazy. It felt good, though. It felt damn fucking good, okay? Jumping into that energy, man, I feel that 555 resonance. You may be seeing that number quite frequently, quite oftenly, um, but it's also an exciting time because you're going through a very big change and very big transformation in your life, okay? I'm hearing the word power trip. There may be an individual that's having a power trip or maybe you feel like you are as well, or you may feel like you are getting your power back and really kind of, kind of I almost getting an energy of stepping back into your roots, jumping back into your main power of who it is that you are, being the scorpion, okay? Is that kind of vibe. Let's take a look and see what messages we got coming through for Scorpio here. So Moon Rising and Venus signs throughout September 2019. What messages do we have coming through for Scorpio, please? Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs throughout September 2019. All right, Scorpio, let's take a look and see what messages we got coming through for you guys. Scorpio, overall energies of Six of Swords can be connecting with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarian here. Forward movement, of course, but in the general term, forward movement, but what are you moving towards? Or what are you moving away from? Now, that is the question that is on the line. Uh, let's take a look at what you're moving away from here. Can be an Aries, Leo, or Sag, but we got a Five of Wands. Moving away from somebody who's a pusher and a puller. Somebody who likes to suck you back in over and over and over again. Until you recognize that it's unhealthy. Ace of Wands. It's time for me to do something new. It's time for me to involve myself in a brand new place. It's unhealthy to keep going back to the same thing. What's the definition of insanity? The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. Been watching a lot of CSI Miami, huh? Or watching a lot of crime shows, haven't you, Scorpio? You may have heard that in a crime show or something like that. I know my Scorpio is like their crime TV. Y'all like the real shit. Y'all like the, um what's it called like the really like nitty gritty like dead body kind of thing like shows that involve like blood and gore and action and crime i don't know why it's a scorpio thing nonetheless though based off the energies i'm seeing present i do feel strongly that you're getting away from a situation that you can no longer keep coming back to because remember what's the definition of insanity doing the same thing over and over and over again until you are expecting a different result but you're not going to get that different result as for the outcome judgment card you have one chance and i think you're going to take it and what I mean by that one chance is, is you have a chance to get out of the cycle, you have a chance to get out of this connection, and you're gonna go moving forward getting out of it because you're recognizing, dude, this is unhealthy for me, and I shouldn't keep keeping myself in a place that's not only just keeping me stagnant, but that isn't changing. Because it feels like whoever you're dealing with could be a person that promises false promises. You can be dealing with a person that always says things are gonna change. You can be dealing with a person that says our relationship's gonna grow and flourish, but it ends up being toxic all over again. It feels like white lies. And those white lies get bigger and bigger and bigger, and you believe them every time, but this time moving forward, you can't, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over your person and take a look at their feelings, then I'm gonna go over your feelings, where energies are aligning in the outcome for the month. Now, in regards to who you're dealing with, Scorpio, let's take a look at their energy here, okay? Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs throughout September 2019. How is the person that Scorpio is dealing with feel towards Scorpio, please? Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs throughout September 2019. Seven of Pentacles, Two of Cups, Seven of Swords, Eight of Wands, Page of Cups, Five of Cups, Four of Swords. Same thing, literally, because based off the energy right here, Two of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, individuals waiting for you, right? They're waiting for you to make the decision here, Scorpio. Um, this person wants to be back in your life. They want you to reconcile with them. They want you to come back towards them. But the problem is, is that Seven of Swords, they're not going to change. They're gonna be wearing that false mask. I mean, Eight of Wands is an energy where this person communicates to you, Page of Cups here, right? Page of Cups to the Eight of Wands. The person you're dealing with communicates to you. I wanna love you, I wanna show you real love. I wanna show you that I can be the best man I can possibly be or the best woman I can possibly be in your life. It's a person that's reeling you in and they're reeling you in on an emotional side. Emotional manipulation possibly here, right? Because that could be the Seven of Swords. Whoever you're dealing with can be a very manipulative person, or they know how to get you, or they know how to hit your sweet spot. That's kind of the energy I'm seeing here as well. But based off the person you're connecting with, it's like they promise you so many things. They promise you new beginnings in love. They promise that they'll love you and cherish you. But Seven of Swords, they do what they do all over again. 
moving forward from this energy, five of cups, four of swords, they recognize that they disappoint you over and over and over again. Now, Scorpio, I think to a certain extent, this person does love you. I think wholeheartedly they want to be with you. I mean, they're waiting for you here. Seven of Pentacles, Two of Cups. I do feel an energy where the person you're dealing with genuinely wants to be with you. They genuinely love you. But at the same time, they don't change. They don't adapt. They don't change the things that you can't resonate with any longer. They don't stop the lies that maybe they tell you. Or the shady things that they do in the background. Or the negativity that they bring into your life. And it's something that you can't reside with. And you know, at the end of the day, right? A lot of people may comment. It's like, well, if you're in a relationship... You know, you shouldn't have to change for the other person. It's not about changing for the other person. It's about changing for the bed, for the better and the good of the connection. It's about not being shitty or doing shitty things. It's about actually having a loving connection. You know, at the end of the day, a person will change only if they want to change. That's correct. You can't change anybody else. But relationships have boundaries. Relationships have a certain stature that need to be lived up to that can really defy or make or break it being toxic or being healthy. And you're looking for a healthy relationship, Scorpio, because you don't want to keep going back to the toxicity. You don't want to keep having fights with this person, arguments with this person, push and pull effect with this person. Okay, whoever you're dealing with may be a person that changes their mind quite oftenly, so they can want you one second and not want you the next. And that can be something that's frustrating as well. But based off what I'm seeing though, it feels like the person you're connecting with just brings kind of a lot of havoc into your life. And it's havoc that you're recognizing that you don't need Scorpio. And in the past, you were weak for them. You were a fool for them. And you would continuously go back each time. But moving forward from this on moment, you can't keep going back to the same person. It's the definition of insanity because you know that there isn't change and you know that it will be the same results. Let's take a look and see your energy here, okay? How is Scorpio feeling towards this person? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. You're at September 2019, please. How is Scorpio feeling towards this person? Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. You're at September 2019. Let's take a look. Nine of Cups, Nine of Swords, Queen of Swords, Two of Wands, Strength Card, and the Page of Swords. It's a bittersweet feeling. First things first, with the Nine of Swords, it's going to upset you because you're recognizing, damn, I need to let this connection go. I have been clinging on to it for so long. It's going to be hard to detach yourself. It's hard to separate yourself from any connection with a person you care about, even if you know they're unhealthy for you. And I'm seeing that with the Nine of Swords right now and the Nine of Cups, it's that bittersweet feeling. Excuse me. It's that bittersweet feeling. Because with the Nine of Cups, it feels good to know that you're doing the right thing for yourself because you're acknowledging that you're doing the right thing for yourself. But at the same time with the Nine of Swords, it's scary. And it's scary because this is somebody you're used to. This is somebody you've had deep history with. This is somebody you've had deep emotional bonds and possibly deep emotional trauma with. So letting go of somebody that you held that dear to your heart, letting go of somebody you had this much history with is something that's so difficult for you. So I'm not gonna say it's not gonna hurt Scorpio. It's gonna be something that's painful and heavy on the heart. But overall, Nine of Cups, you know that you're doing this for the greater good of yourself. This is why you're refusing the cycle and this is why you're breaking it. Because you know that this is for the better of yourself. Queen of Swords here, Two of Swans. Uh, Queen of, excuse me, I can't speak today, I'm very tired. Queen of Swords and the Two of Wands. You know that it's time to let it go. And you're no longer getting yourself stuck in the middle. You have to make a direct choice now. And the direct choice you make is you're choosing you. Because when you look at the Two of Wands, this person has one wand over the other. This person's looking at their wide future. This person's looking at what can be. When you get down really deep to the core, this person's looking at an Ace of Wands. Remember, Scorpio, that was the first energy that came out for you. First card was the Ace of Wands. And that's the strongest energy here. And that's that urge for having a new beginning. It's the urge for meeting new people. It's the urge for finding passion in another person. It's almost the urge to an acknowledgement of there's something else out there in the universe. There's another person out there in the universe that's really meant to be with me. And I'm wasting my time in this cycle when I could find that soulmate that I really, really want to be with. Because you know that your true soulmate exists out there. So the Queen of Swords right now is taking a look at this side of the wand and cutting it. Meanwhile, what you're focused on is this new beginning, this new passion, this new understanding that there is somebody better out there for you. Now with the Strength card, you will be strong. I think that there will be a part of you, Scorpio, that will have a little bit of breakdowns. I think there will be a part of you, Scorpio, that would want to submit to this person and give them a chance again, right? Give your ex a chance, go back with them. A part of your heart, you feel like your part of your heart belongs to them but it doesn't necessarily belong to them. It's just an attachment because you've been used to that person for so long. 
So with the Page of Swords here as well, you may even hesitate to communicate towards them. You may actually watch over this person. I don't know if you're going to spy on this person, Scorpio, or this person's going to spy on you, but you may take a look at their life in hopes to see that they've changed, but then recognize that nothing's changed at all. And I think that's where the breaking point's going to happen for you. Like I said, whoever you're connecting with here, Scorpio, I feel like they make a lot of false promises. I feel like this person consistently drags you back. They pull you back in no matter what. Um, it was that one person you were always weak for. But like I said, there were no changes in their character. There were no changes in compromise. There were no changes in moving a relationship from a toxic one to a healthy one. And I think that that is what's getting you to this breaking point because the Page of Swords here is like, hmm, I'm interested. Maybe they really did change. And maybe this month, you'll give them one quick chance to see if they've changed. But real quick, you're going to see the Seven of Swords in this person. You're going to see the deceit in this person. You're going to see the lies in this person that they claim is their truth. That's really what's going to push you to move forward. Okay, so you might have a taste at this connection. You might have a taste at a reconciliation. If this person comes back into your life in September, you might give them a shot early on in the beginning just to recognize that, damn, I really got to move on. It's the last straw. So that may be happening here as well. Now, I want to dabble a little bit into this person a little more and a little bit more into you. Okay, so tell me about the Seven of Swords. Why is the person Scorpio is dealing with the Seven of Swords, please? All right, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Why is the person Scorpio is dealing with the Seven of Swords? Okay, you got a Four of Wands, you got a Knight of Swords, you got a Seven of Cups, mm, and you got a Knight of Pentacles. You may be connecting with somebody here, Scorpio. This possibly could be an individual that is a cheater. Not calling this person a cheater 110%, but they could be. Now, that may be one reason why you were very um, hesitant to give them a second chance because whoever you're connecting with could have cheated on you with another person. First things first, four of wands to the knight of swords. This is communication outside of a relationship. And with the knight of pentacles and the seven of cups, this has been other relationships being pursued for quite some time. So this could be that the person you were connecting with had multiple other people on the side. It could have been another relationship on the side. It could have been another person, like a side chick or a side hoe, okay? Or even a side dude. But whoever you're connecting with could have had a side piece. And if they had a side piece, I feel like they didn't tell you for a long time. And I felt like that side piece was going on for quite a long time. Okay? So whoever you're dealing with here, you know, this individual could have cheated on you in the past. That may be why you're so hesitant. That may be why barriers were so broken between you two. Let's talk about this Nine of Swords. Why are you so worried right now? If you want to go back to this person or not, Squirps. King of Wands, Two of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. Because you don't want to be played and you don't want to play the game. You want this person to be real, a hundred, straight up with you. I think that's what's so heartbreaking and I think that's what's so nerve wracking. And I think intuitively you're picking up on this energy right here. So Scorpio, I think the main reason you're not going back as well is because you already feel like this person's just a player and they're going to continue to play the game. I think you feel like they're gonna juggle you around. I think you feel like they're gonna continue to make false promises. I think you feel like this person is gonna continue to be on their bullshit and not be true to you and committal to you. The individual you're connecting with might as well just have commitment issues and commitment problems as well. They may be a person that doesn't know how to stay put. And that's their free will, of course. But at the same time, it's not what you want. Remember, relationships have to be equal give and take. Relationships have to be what you both want and that being compromised for one another. And when there is no compromise, when it's not equal give and take, when it's one-sided, it's off balance. I see the cycle repeating, Swerps. I see this person hurting you over again. I see this person deceiving you again. I see this individual promising false promises. I see this person possibly doing, the, if they were cheating, I still see them cheating, you know? Everybody says that, uh, quote, once a cheater, always a cheater, right? That's not 100% true. The thing is, is that if you don't want to be a cheater anymore and you are the cheater, you have to get your shit together and decide to no longer cheat. Cheating is a choice. Happiness is a choice. Love is a choice. Everything in this world is a choice. Once you're happy, doesn't mean you're always happy. Once you're a cheater, doesn't mean you're always a cheater, right? So if you are connecting with somebody who's cheating, keep in mind, they don't need to be one forever, but they need to change their own actions on their own. People don't change, or you can't change other people. People only change themselves, right? So Scorpio, you're fearing the past repeating, and rightfully so, because it seems in this area it's going to. Your intuition's been talking to you. It's been buzzing. It's been letting you know exactly what's going on. Don't doubt your gut feeling. 
if you know 100% the same shit's just gonna happen again, don't give in to this person. They may not even be calling out to you in the physical. This individual may not be texting you right now in the 3D reality. They may be calling out to you spiritually. For some, you may be having dreams about this ex-partner. Maybe you're thinking about them 24-7 because they're heavily thinking about you. They may, call, they may be calling you out or calling out to you in a more esoteric and spirituality way than they're calling out to you in the 3D. So for some, you may have not heard for months from this person, but you may have been thinking about them repeatedly, or you may have been um, you know, seeing things like old pictures of them just randomly come up, or maybe you know, out of nowhere you saw a sign of what this person used to like. Let's just say, for example, this person used to love this specific type of ice cream flavor, and that ice cream flavor is all the only thing that's on sale today. You know, and it reminds you of them. You may be seeing things that remind you of your ex 24-7. It's because this person's thinking about you. So uh, for most of you here, there's physical communication. This person's telling you they want to be with you. But if that hasn't arised, you may be seeing signs and symbols that they're thinking about you heavily. All right? But like I said, Scorps, your intuition's reaching out to you that I can never go back and I shouldn't go back. It's going to be the same thing. Remember, Insanity, the definition of it is doing the same thing, expecting different results, and you feel and just know right now that this person's not gonna change until they choose to, and you know right now that they're not choosing to, okay? In regards to where energies are aligning between you and this person, let's take a look here, Squirps. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, throughout September 2019, where energies aligning between Scorpio and the person they're dealing with. Hello, relax, thank you, baby. Where energies aligning between Scorpio, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs throughout September 2019. Hello. High Priestess card, Page of Pentacles. Good. You're following your gut. Five of Swords, leaving a beat. Three of Wands, they'll be waiting. Seven of Cups, they won't wait forever. Okay. So, first things first. Page of Pentacles and the High Priestess card. You're giving yourself the chance. Remember the Judgment card? You're giving yourself the chance. You're giving life the chance. You're giving other opportunities the chance. Other new love that comes in, right? Well, the Judgment card's at play here as well, because the Page of Pentacles and the High Priestess card is your intuition telling you this is not worth involving myself back into a connection like this. It's not worth getting back together with this person. I need to break the cycle, so I'm giving myself a chance for a brand new, bright, and beautiful future. So you're giving yourself the chance right now. Five of Swords, you're turning back, and there's no looking back. With this Five of Swords, I really feel like you're stepping in this new truth, this new power. I really feel like you are deciding to shut the cycle once and for all, once and forever. Three of Wands, Seven of Cups. The person you're dealing with, they're going to wait for you. They're going to want you to reach out. They're going to keep calling out to you energetically. You're going to keep feeling their energy. But that's why you're a Queen of Swords right now, Scorpio. That's why you got to cut the cord. And when I mean cut the cord, you cut the cord. Block them. Delete them. Delete all the photos you have of each other, if you have to, if that's going to help you. Um, for those of you that want to know how to cut cords energetically, it's a very simple method that I do. What you have to do is you just have to get into a very meditative space and literally imagine, and just imagine it like this, imagine the cord between you and this person. Imagine you over here, the person you're dealing with right here, imagine a silver cord attached between you two. And imagine yourself having a blade or a katana or a knife in your hand or a hatchet and fucking breaking that cord and you just cut that cord, period. It is really that easier. That's the way that I do it and it works for me like a charm. Now, all in all, you know, Scorpio, this will resonate to everybody. And I am pushing more so on the side of what I'm seeing for you guys. You guys most likely are done with this cycle, but there may be some Scorpio, there may be some Scorpios that aren't. You know, there may be some Scorpios that love this person and wanna stay with them. Um, I do wanna say this. You don't have to do anything that I say. You don't have to listen to anything I say. Your life is your free will. Your life is your choice. Um, all I can see here though, Scorpio, is I see many of you guys turning your back on this person once and for all, and I see them waiting for you, but they're not gonna wait too long. Seven of Cups is like, oh, well, you know, my ships didn't come in, Scorpio hasn't came back. I'm gonna go fuck around with some other people and keep moving forward in my life. So if this person's really quick to jump the gun, if this person's really quick to jump to another person and, and go from person to person to person without, you know, getting any answers or clarity from you, then how much did they really love you? Seven of Swords, Two of Cups. Do they really want this relationship? Do they really want to be with you, Scorpio? Or do they want you for their, for their own reasons, for their own benefits, for their own personal gain? That's where we got to be mindful. Something sneaky about this person. As for the overall outcome between you and this person, Scorps, let's take a look. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs throughout September 2019. What is the overall outcome between Scorpio and the person they're dealing with? 
Okay, six of wands, moving forward, Wheel of Fortune, closing the cycle. There you go. Can be connecting possibly with an Aquarian, Taurus, Scorpio, or Leo. Whoever you were dealing with could be fixed, or you could be connecting with an Aries, Sag, Leo. Nonetheless, though, six of wands and the Wheel of Fortune. You're in this period of time right now, Scorpio, where you're shutting that cycle, you're leaving that cycle be, you're moving forward, you're standing proud, you're standing in your truth, you're standing in your power, and you recognize the definition of insanity is doing the same thing when, when, and expecting different results. And guess what? You're changing the cycle. You're changing the results. You're no longer being insane. You're no longer sharing insanity with this person. It's time for a difference to be made in your life. And I'm also feeling really strong, man. That Ace of Wands energy is very powerful for you guys. For this being your first card, I just feel really strongly. You have a newfound faith in the universe. Some of you could have recently taken a step into spirituality and astrology. You may be new here. So, hello, welcome. I'm Anthony. Nice to meet you. But with this Ace of Wands energy, I feel it's so strong and powerful for you, Scorpio, because with the Ace of Wands, you're looking at your love life and you're looking at the idea of soulmates and you're looking at the idea of partnership in a brand new way. You've seen your worth, therefore, you want a partnership that's going to reciprocate the worth that you deserve. You don't got time for mind games. You don't got time for jokes. You don't got time for one-sided connections. You want equal give and take. You want reciprocity. You want a real beautiful connection and you're on your way to get it. Because you took the right, you, you know, you made the right choice. You made the right decision. You took the right route in life. Because when you keep fucking around in the same cycle, no matter if it's karmic, no matter if you think you're meant to be there, okay? Let me tell you something about karma. You may have created karma in your past life. You don't have to carry it out in this life. You don't have to keep repeating cycles. You have free will for a reason. So it doesn't matter all the karma in the world that you have. You have the free will to do whatever the fuck it is you want. So you didn't have to keep yourself in the cycle, especially a cycle of hurting you just to learn a lesson. You could have copped out long ago. But right now, you know that it's time to cop out because there's bigger and better things that are on the way. And let me tell you something, the universe will reward you for this. Because every time you leave behind something that doesn't serve in your energy, and honestly and recognize your beautiful worth, something that is worthy of you will find its way towards you. Believe in that magic, Scorpio, because that magic will manifest. I like it. Scorpio, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If it resonates, of course, let me know. Down in those comments down below. Take care and have a fantastic day, guys. And I will catch you guys for your September 2019 mid-monthlies. All right? Peace.